NextAlarm.com provides exceptional internet-enhanced alarm monitoring services for homes and small businesses. They, for a few years now, have been protecting the Into Tomorrow studios, by the way, and we're glad to have them because we get that peace of mind, and it alerts us via text and emails and all sorts of things if there's any issues we need to deal with. The Chief Technology Officer with Next Alarm is Brian Field Elliott. Brian, welcome back into tomorrow. Thanks for joining us at CES. Dave, I appreciate the opportunity to be here uh, third year in a row. This is great. Yes, indeed. You've got some neat things happening all the time, but <laughs> video surveillance, something that we've been all waiting for, and uh, it's, it's coming to fruition, is it not? It is. This is the year that uh, low-cost residential video surveillance products are really going to hit the market, and uh, we think they're going to explode. Uh, we're introducing two products uh, just later this month. Uh, the next version of our NextView video service with cameras called the NextView and the NextView Pro. Uh, these are extremely affordable uh, video, video cameras that have Wi-Fi built in. Uh, you can plug them in uh, directly into your router or set them up on Wi-Fi anywhere in your home, up to 16 in your home, and you can tune in any time from, your, from work, from your mobile phone, uh, see what's going on in your home, and also see what was going on in your home the last time your security system did something, like ah. arm, disarm, or a panic button was pushed, or anything like that. And up to 16, so correct. we can really cover the house, outside the house, maybe That's see correct. if somebody's in the kitchen, I mean, any number of things That's right. with these cameras. That's right. What's the difference then between the, the Pro and the okay. regular? Good question. The Pro uh, actually allows for remote control, so it's got a, uh, it's got a lens that you can actually tilt left and right, you can pan it up and down, and uh, you can do that through the website or through your mobile phone uh, for any live viewing. And, and how cool is that? Is. Because now you, maybe it is something you need to just pan to the left a little bit or tilt down to see if the package was left That's at right. the door or something That's right. like that. Right? That's right. Neat. And that, what are we talking price-wise? Has that been determined yet? Yes, it has. The next few basic cameras are going to be uh, street price suggested 129 mm -hmm. the Pro version uh, 279 Okay. And again, that's because you're getting pan and tilt. And zoom, you said? Or uh, I'm sorry, zoom not might zoom. Be, uh, okay. Well, in fact, uh, the cameras support multiple resolutions. Oh, so okay. you've got sort of a lightweight uh, resolution that you can look at many cameras at once mm -hmm. over your mobile phone for a typical 3G network or CDMA network. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you want to pick one camera and really kind of get a bigger picture of it, it's going to switch into a higher resolution mode. And that's, that's sort of equivalent to zooming because yeah, you're exactly. getting a bigger picture. It, precisely, without mm -hmm. having to bring uh, the phone closer to your face. That's right. That's uh, right. Which is really embarrassing in public. <laughs> you know, it's like, what, what are you looking at? I'm just checking my front door. Well, yeah. you <laughs> might, it might become more common this year. We'll see. Th that's true. And of course, it gives you more room to grow because in the future, perhaps zoom would be an that's appropriate Right. thing as an option on That's a right. camera that is going to be over the driveway or something. That's you know, absolutely right. You need to look. Now, can we archive this video? I mean, Good can we question. actually go back? You mentioned being able to go back and look I when did. it was armed or not, but what about during the time on the question. way. So all the time that the cameras are plugged in, we're actually taking, uh, if, if the customer has checkboxed this on our website, we're actually taking video uh, in real time, 24 by 7, not live video, but a snapshot every few seconds. So typical customer will have it set for every five seconds. Mm -hmm. We'll take a snapshot every five seconds and we'll archive it for up to two months. Wow. We give a nice little user interface for uh, on the website as well as on the mobile phone mm -hmm. where the customer can say at this particular date and time, I need to see what was on my cameras. And from there, they can go forward or backward in time. Uh, they can click play to do a stop motion animation, or wow. they can skip forward and backward. Uh, and of course, when your home security system actually reports an event of any kind, whether it's an emergency or even a non-emergency, like a door opening or closing, mm -hmm. we'll start taking live video at that moment in time. And archive that as well. Yes, that's right. Excellent. So in, in any alarm condition where you'd really need it, that's right. we have full video. We have full video. routine stuff up to uh, as, as frequently as five seconds, which is certainly more than enough. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, yes, if it somebody is. knock down the mailbox, uh, you'll see it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and in fact, when an emergency happens or, or any security event, uh, we'll take the previous 10 seconds of video, which is always stored in a buffer in the camera, ah. as well as the next five minutes of live video. And we'll archive that for you to review any time. Well, see, that's why you guys are next alarm. <laughs> You're always thinking ahead about what may be needed. And it's not just a matter of arm disarm anymore and try to have a little uh, feeling of some safety, peace of mind we can go back and check things. That's right. You've got a relationship, I understand now, a new partnership with HughesNet. Tell That's me about right. that. Well, we have the only home security system on the market currently with special features designed to work with, broad, with satellite broadband internet. 
Wow. Uh, and My we, sister Lynn's got to get this satellite internet. She's got to be paying attention to that. So well, she'll even have alarm capabilities then, too. So you look, look for us uh, later this year to co-market with HughesNet, which is a, uh, one of the biggest national uh, satellite broadband providers, to co-market our product into that market. Dynamite. Well, what can we expect, Brian, uh, next from Next Alarm and Laser Shield, another part of your family that, that helps to protect us in many ways? What, what's cooking around the corner and into tomorrow? Video is going to explode this year and look for a deeper penetration of the dealer market and in the retail market. Dynamite. Every time we talk to you, there's neat new things to make us feel more secure in many ways. <laughs> and that's great that you're concentrating on just that effort because it's important. Brian Field Elliott is the chief technology officer. He and his team are always busy doing neat things. Check out Next Alarm. Dot com. Of course, we'll have links there on our website and check out the video and to get to see Brian chatting about all these cool things. We talk about them a lot. Again, protecting right. the Into Tomorrow <laughs> studios, too, and we appreciate right. that. It's okay. appropriate peace of mind. It is. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thanks. We're back with more from Las Vegas. Dave Graveline bringing you further Into Tomorrow right here on the Advanced Media Network.